mom of three, and I've been married for seven years. I am the youngest of five kids. I'm my dad's youngest daughter. He didn't want me, and I'm his favorite. Josh and I met 11 years ago. It was love at first sight. Everything was falling right in line. We had our son first, which was exactly what I wanted. Then we had our little girl, and then we had Cooper, and our family was complete. Yeah, and then everything changed. It's one thing I can say is that we did have it all. We thought this is what we wanted, but an event like this, you care less about anything else. Everything you thought was your dream is no longer the dream you want. I knew that I was really sick during my pregnancy with Cooper. I'd had symptoms really after the birth of Luella. I started having a lot of dizziness and I was lightheaded all the time. So I finally went to an urgent care and the urgent care doctor kept telling me that it sounded like I had asthma. He couldn't imagine that I had not been diagnosed with asthma before. So he did an x-ray to rule out pneumonia and it showed that my heart was enlarged. I made a cardiology appointment that next Monday. I was like, I'm not messing around anymore. Somebody's gonna figure out what's going on. I've been sick for too long. I went to the cardiologist appointment and as soon as he walked in, he looked at me and said, you're too young to have something wrong with your heart. He said that he would do an echo stress test to prove to me that there was nothing wrong with me. I went in for the echo stress. Um, as soon as I sat down and she started the echo, I knew something was wrong. She says, I'm really sorry, we can't put your heart under any stress. She said, you have a reduced ejection fraction. I called my husband, told him that everything that I'm Googling is telling me that I'm in heart failure. And if my number's above 30%, that I can recover from this. I knew something was wrong. The doctor called me back from his cell phone and said, I'm really sorry. I know why you're feeling so puny. You have what we call peripartum cardiomyopathy. You're in chronic heart failure. And I said, what's my number? What's my ejection fraction? And he said, you're at 15%. My husband was on the porch and he was just sobbing uncontrollably. And to see your husband cry is absolutely one of the hardest things because you know that it's serious then. You know that you're not just being dramatic anymore. This is serious. I'm a mechanic, so I can fix just about anything. This I can't fix. There's nothing I can do. I'm strong and when you have kids, you do what you have to do and you get better because at the end of the day, all I'm asking for is more time for my, to raise my kids. Worst case is I crash and I don't get any better. Um, they hook me up to an LVAD in the hospital and I wait for a transplant. Best case, I live like this for 20 years. I stay on medications. I take care of myself, I eat healthy, I exercise, and my heart holds out. And then I worry about, in 20 years, what's gonna be different then? What has research and funding gotten us then? When I look at my kids, all I think about is if I'm not there on their wedding days and the day they graduate and the day that they have kids, you know, when you have kids, your mom is like your number one person that you depend on, and I don't have that, so I need my kids to have that. I need Luella to, you know, have her mom. Hopefully, you know, people continue to support the vision of the American Heart Association. I'm 30 years old, and I really feel like there's hope that with research and funding that it's just gonna keep getting better and there's gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm just trying to fight for the future and fight to raise my kids and make a difference and raise awareness so women know that this can happen, that you can look perfectly healthy on the outside and be dying on the inside. My vision for the future is that, you know, 
things things get better. This her heart can last long enough till technology catches up, and you know something can be done. I just am trying to get every last beat out of this heart that I can get out of it before I trade it in for something new. I have high hopes that the American Heart Association's research will make my vision a reality.